Hello. So this is my website, and it is titled That Night by Bryn Forrest. This is my homepage. I thought it would be cool to do a font that's uh, for the title that says That Night. That's one, in the color red, to sort of fit the theme. And then two, be sort of a spooky type of font. I don't think it's a usual font. You can see that the A doesn't even have a line, so I thought it was just something different that could pull the audience in right away. I didn't want the background for all of my slides in my website to be red because I wanted the photos to pop. So I decided to just leave that white so the red could be its own uh, color. So it's still filling up the website with red, but it's not taking over. So I personally don't think that there has to be a certain order for my photos. I think once you read into the story and see all the photos, you can sort of put it together and create your own photo story. And that's what I wanted to do because I like when the audience can create their own type of story and it's not just a, a plain story that everyone can understand and interpret the exact same way. So that's how I went about it. So this is my homepage. Next I have story. So it has a little bit of background and the title will go across the pictures, which I thought was a cool touch. It's a little bit of a brighter red, so it does pop against the pictures. So there are some more pictures in this and then I'll just really quick read sort of what I was writing about. It's just the background of me and the stories in the photos. So that night is series is based off my love for murder documentaries and a scary childhood night. As a child, I was almost kidnapped and it might have hurt me for life. A man come, came up to the car with just me and my two sisters. All of us were too young to do anything. He looked in the car, walked around, trying to get in. I got up fast and honked the car horn and he ran away. My father came running over. The smallest things scare me now, yet I love watching murder documentaries and horror movies. Now this is weird because a lot of people that go through experiences might hate that type of stuff and it might remind them of that. But for me, I just found it really fascinating and I love forensic type things. So this is the type of genre that I like. That man just sort of inspired me for my art career. So the series is actually just about a girl who thinks she's going crazy and hearing noises but it turns out to be real. The story can be interpreted, like I said before, in many ways, and that's what I love about photo narratives. It's not gonna be just the same thing for everyone, so each viewer might have a different story in their head. And I sort of wanted to leave the viewers a little bit confused and maybe have a little feeling of scared in them because they're not sure exactly what's happening themselves. We do have a couple phone uh, images in the image to show like she is trying to reach out for help and try to tell someone like I think I hear something and there's another photo later on that will show a little bit closer up of this phone but the hair shows that the, she's going crazy and like the hands are calling for help so I'm just trying to show the story within my photos without making it too obvious next we have who this is just sort of a fun little thing for people that are going to come onto the site and I made the font different as well to maybe fit the theme it says now you may be asking who is the murderer or where are they they're a mystery. As you can tell throughout the website, you don't see anyone besides this main girl. There's no murderer. Maybe the shadow like down here could be the murderer. You're not sure, but you really have no idea who they are. So it's like, are they a girl, a boy? What's their age? Can you guess? Are there clues that you missed? Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. You'll never know. Or do you? Again, I really want to leave the audience questioning. This is my little text in photo that I made earlier in the semester and yeah here's some photos uh, I apologize for that little cutoff as you can probably tell by my voice I'm not feeling the best so I have a dry throat so <laughs> I just need to stop the video and uh, restart here so we are at photos now the photo section again like I said earlier I don't think there needs to be a certain order of the photos I think it sort of tells her themselves and it also leaves that spooky sort of confused vibe for in the viewers eyes and again they can create their own story if it was in a certain order maybe it wouldn't come across the same to them here is what I was talking about earlier it has some text showing that she's texting someone for help and you can tell they never answered which unfortunately might have been the result of her death so we just have some photos there and then the last page that we have is titled The End, and it just has this video on replay of a girl who we don't know dragging a body in the woods. 
Uh, it sort of leaves another confusion. Is this the murderer? Who is this? Uh, I've never seen her before this last page. I don't want them to know. Uh, maybe I don't know myself. It's just like a never-ending sort of questioning type of story and narrative. And I thought this was sort of a fun thing for people because this is almost like a murder mystery like you're trying to solve it as you're going through my website. So I thought that could be cool. I also made the background of this one slide red since it is the end and unfortunately she was murdered. And since this isn't a red picture, I thought it, uh, and there's a white border, I thought the red would work and the knight is also standing out still. So that's the end of my presentation. I hope you guys enjoyed my website and do you guys have any thoughts of who the murderer is?